Okay, I'm going to try to make this message short and sweet because it seems like my phone only records five minute videos. Um, long story short, a lot of false prophets are saying that uh, the rapture is going to take place now, either on the Rosh Hashanah of 2020 or the Feast of Trumpets 2020. Rosh Hashanah is supposed to start this Friday, the 19th, I believe all the way to the 21st of September. And I believe the Feast of Trumpets is either in September of 2020 or October of 2020, but it is in the year of 2020. So um, they're saying that the deal that United Arab Emirates made with Israel is the, is the same agreement in Daniel 9.27. And long story short, that it is going to, that because of that, the rapture is going to take place. I've gone over the fact that nobody knows the day or the hour according to the Bible. Nobody knows when the rapture is going to take place. Okay. Um, the Israel agreement that was made with the United Arab Emirates is not the same as the Daniel 927 prophecy. Long story short, the, uh, the Antichrist is supposed to usher in a seven year, or is supposed to make this, the, is supposed to uh, forge a seven year agreement between Israel and many nations. Okay. Um, the world will be at its most trying times, with war, pestilence, and so forth. And supposedly a false savior is going to come about, broker the seven-year agreement that's going to bring about a false peace. You know, when they say peace and safety, excuse me, immediately comes destruction. So he's supposed to bring about this false peace. Israel's supposed to make this agreement with many nations, not just one. So this between the United Arab Emirates and Israel is only between them. It's not between many nations. It's not the same as Daniel 927 prophecy. The Antichrist is supposed to broker it. He has not been revealed. I mean, stick to your Bibles, ladies and gentlemen. Go to Jesus directly about this. And also, because the agreement between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, other nations like Egypt, Turkey, etc., have been opening up relations with them. Economic, trade, scientific, militarily, medical, so forth. Okay. That's the other part. So it's not the same. In the Daniel 927 prophecy, Israel makes a covenant with many nations. It's brokered by the Antichrist, supposed to bring about this false peace. People will look at this Antichrist as a savior and um, some type of a god or whatever. And um, this is talked about in the book of Revelation as well. And uh, he's supposed to broker the seven-year agreement. Okay. And then he's going to demand that Everybody, Christians, everybody, worship him and take the mark. Those who do not take the mark cannot buy or sell. The few that will resist is God's elect. And um, I call them Israelites, even though they're not Jewish by blood. Okay. But basically, few Christians will resist. Few Israelites will resist. And because of that, the Antichrist will break the agreement halfway into the seven-year tribulation. And will... Um, wage war against Israel for not bowing down to him, okay? And then um, the Lord will obviously return to destroy the Antichrist according to the scriptures. Now, we don't know when these events will take place. God has appointed times for everything. That's up to God, okay? We don't know when the rapture is going to take place, okay? The rapture will happen. We don't know if it's before, mid, or after the tribulation, okay? That's another thing. The other thing I want to point out to you as well is that, um, again, this United Arab Emirates deal with Israel is not the same as the Daniel 927 prophecy. Don't get them mixed up. Be careful who you listen to. These people are spreading this lie on YouTube and your churches and everything. False prophets are popping up left and right. So, you know, you don't want to get frustrated. You get your hopes up high and all of a sudden... These dates that they gave you, Trump Feast of Trump is 2020, Rosh Hashanah 2020, come and go and no rapture takes place and you get upset and then you blame God and it's not God's fault. Nobody's fault but your own for believing these people instead of doing what Jesus said in the word of testing the spirits. Test every spirit so you don't get deceived, okay? Because the devil's trying to deceive you, to deceive everybody, to deceive God's elect, okay? The Lord said the devil is a liar. And you need to be careful in these last days because a lot of false prophets are popping up left and right, even if so, to deceive the very elect of God. Be careful.